Well, a lot of it's honestly based in, in cattle, um, but I think it probably correlates to deer pretty well. And it's just don't do a monoculture, right? Like don't do, if you're doing 10 acres of this for, for cattle to, to graze, don't just do purple top turnips, right? Because some might like crimson clover and some might like rye grain and some might, right? Like, so my question there is, um, do you think there's validity in there, whether it be for cattle or deer, in having that diversity to help to mitigate some of those risks of overeating something that may be good or not? Yeah, so yes, I'm sorry. I did not answer your question the first time. No, I thought you were asking me something different. Um, yes, with the brassicas, I have personally helped producers who have had sulfur toxicity. Um, the nitrate toxicity is probably a bit overblown in the brassicas. We actually did some, um, we shared some of our nitrate data with Dr. Mary Janowski out of UNL and um, her and her grad student at the time, I believe she's now at Iowa, um, Mary Beth Lentz, um, she, and she might have a different last name now too. Um, they put together a survey and they found that the fresh forages and specifically the brassicas, they can have 5,000 parts per million nitrate nitrogen, which is where we say, okay, don't feed that. Um, but they, people aren't seeing problems with that um, grazing cattle on it. Um, and so that may be a little bit overblown and that might be a place in domestic ruminant nutrition. We need to go back and revise our recommendations, whether, the nitrate is in a fresh forage or a grazed forage and things like that. A dried down maybe might make a difference too, um, you know, because we get dry plants, you know, in the fall yeah. um, moving forward. But the sulfur toxicity, I have worked with um, cattle producers on it. I obviously haven't, you know, I who calls the vet when there's a deer stumbling around acting weird in their field? Like, you don't, mm -hmm. you know, so I don't know. But I would say as long as they had access to their own, what they would naturally be eating, as well as other things in the food plot, it should be okay to have brassicas in that mix. I probably wouldn't recommend just planting brassicas for brassicas sake, but there's, you know, lots of different reasons for that. Um,